Hello and welcome to SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis Square Off. This is a Fire Emblem ROM hack by Nickelodeon. We're gonna go ahead and play the game. And it starts us off on Bikini Bottom, which is map one. Uh, there's a bunch of these levels in the map, kind of like Super Mario, kind of where the, all the levels are scattered around in a certain part of the world. And this first level is outside the Krusty Krab. It starts us, well, it starts off in the Krusty Krab, but you play outside. Anyway, this is Anna telling us to get back to work. And this is a hero from Atlantis, but we don't we don't care. So my goal for this playthrough is to get to this flag, but not just get to it, but get to it as quickly as possible with the fewest turns spent. This is an LTC. So we're going to sprint and we're going to walk. And LTC, by the way, stands for low turn count. And we don't have to do anything else. We're just going to let this jellyfish attack us. Oh, the jellyfish walked onto this. It's fine, though. We can just take this square. And that's that's uh, map one done in two turns. Yeah, um, I'm pretty impressed with that turn count, but I think we can improve on it. OK, so I'm going to try it again. And this time I'm going to sprint. I'm going to walk. And I'm going to use the Bubble Punch, which is an attack. SpongeBob kills this jellyfish, which is what he's known for, killing jellyfish. And we get a new attack card called Summon Jellyfish. And we don't have any more energy, so we have to end the turn. So it seems like two turns is the uh, the floor, as pro LTC viewers call it. The minimum number of turns required to get to the flag. So unfortunately, this count cannot be improved upon further like I thought. Although, I do kind of have an idea. Okay, so I've opened up the uh, the game's file, and I found something very interesting. I found a maps folder, and all the, all the map data seems to be stored in a different XML file. This should actually be pretty workable. Okay, so this XML file is called Bikini Bottom 1, and it should represent the first level we just played. And it seems that there is a uh, bunch of tiles, each marked by a certain number as well as uh, an XML uh, coordinate for SpongeBob, for the flag, for enemies, and the card that they drop is here as well, as well as Atlantean friend and Patrick and a chest, which all seem to exit once the map starts, which is what we saw. So I think I have an idea. If we just uh, do that, and that, I should bring the flag, well, a little closer for a one turn. Okay, so we're back and we should be able to just click play, get this map started, uh, close this crap, and there we go. We brought the flag closer to us, and um, all, we, all we should be able to have to do is just do that, and there we go. That's map one, one clear to one turn. If you liked what you saw, uh, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe. Um, you could try to leave a threatening comment so that YouTube will filter out and have a good one.